Folks, welcome once again to Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe del Valle de Mojave for the celebration of the Sunday Mass. This is Pentecost Sunday. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You have plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctifies your whole church and every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of all believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading today comes from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered because all heard them speaking in their own languages. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O my Lord, my God, you are very great. O Lord, how manifold are your works. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. 
A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are a variety of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. It was evening on the day Jesus rose from the dead, and the first day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the authorities. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, today we celebrate the great feast of Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples, and you could even say the birthday of the Church. And the Holy Spirit brings with him many gifts, as we explain to the confirmation uh, uh, adolescents that were confirmed a few weeks ago. But I want to concentrate on forgiveness, which is a gift that is sorely needed in the world in which we live. In, it reminds me of a movie that I saw when I was a young kid, and it's called The Bridge Over the River Kwai. The movie chronicles the work of a group of soldiers imprisoned by the Japanese during the Second World War. These soldiers were forced to build a railway across a very difficult section um, of mountains between Burma and Siam. Eric Lomax, a British soldier, is a real-life survivor of the group of prisoners, and throughout his imprisonment, Eric and thousands of other British soldiers were starved and tortured, and many died. When the Japanese officers suspected that Eric had some kind of a secret map of their camp, they beat him with a shaft of a pickaxe and broke both his arms. Then he and other suspected men were forced into cramped bamboo cages, very small cages. They were repeatedly tortured. Many men died. And for almost three years, Eric survived these conditions until the, the, the camp was liberated and the war was ended. But freedom did not bring peace to Eric. Although his faith in Jesus Christ was very strong and sustained him throughout his ordeal, Eric 
couldn't seem to fight the psychological and emotional effects of what he had been through, naturally. He had terrifying nightmares, his marriage suffered, he had particular trouble forgetting the face of one Japanese man, the interpreter, who had supervised Eric's interrogations. Eric was determined to find the man again and make him pay for what he had done. And through an army chaplain, Eric found out the name of the interpreter. His name was Nagase Takashi. Takashi had spent years since the war doing good for his fellow man, trying to make up for the things that he had done during the war. He had even built a Buddhist temple of peace to atone for his crimes, and he involved himself in many charities. But Eric Lomax could feel no mercy for Mr. Takashi. In 1989, a friend of his uh, passed on a newspaper article about Takashi. The article portrayed this old man who had spent much of his post-war years doing good deeds in the hope of atoning uh, for the treatment uh, of the prisoners of war. And according to the article, Takashi remembered one prisoner in particular, a British soldier who had been accused of making a secret map. He still had horrible nightmares of torture, torturing this young man. And with shock, Eric realized that Takashi was talking about him. Takashi, in a book he wrote, talked about his deep remorse over his crimes and his belief that he had been forgiven. Eric then wrote to Takashi and told him he had not been forgiven. Takashi wrote back a sad, gentle letter expressing his desire to meet Eric again someday. Well, the letter spoke to Eric's heart. He couldn't hold on to his hatred and anger anymore. The two men met again that year in, an old, in, the, in the old prison camp where their paths had crossed. Nagasa Takashi expressed his deep remorse and sorrow over his actions, and Eric was able to forgive him. After that visit together, Eric's nightmares disappeared. By facing their old enemies, both men had finally found peace. Folks, I remember this story uh, and the movie, which I've seen at least a dozen times, because I want to talk about forgiveness a little bit today. Forgiveness is central to living out our Christian faith. You know, we pray almost daily the Lord's Prayer, which says, forgive us our sins or trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We recite the Apostles' Creed almost weekly, where it says, I believe in the forgiveness of sins, but forgiveness, folks, is a rare commodity in our society especially today. We know that forgiveness is central to living out the Christian faith. Forgiveness may be the hardest thing that Jesus calls us to do. Secondly, it's tough even though we know that seeking revenge is always wrong and goes against what God teaches us in Christ Jesus. Take Jesus himself. He certainly had the power to seek revenge for what they were doing to him, the terrible uh, tortures that he went through. But then again, his whole purpose was to show God's unconditional love for all human beings, even to his enemies. So the people who refuse his invitation to believe in him and to benefit from that love are the ones who are out of the loop. Finally, Forgiveness of sins is a privilege that Christ gives his followers. Yes, Jesus gave his disciples the power to forgive sins and to retain them, but he has given us all the same power to forgive one another. Think what healing could take place if we seriously 
took the power that Jesus Christ gives us to forgive sins. The only way Christ's work can be done in the world is to, is to practice forgiveness every day. Forgiveness is central to living out the Christian faith, and as followers of Jesus, not only do we have the responsibility to forgive sins, but also to seek forgiveness in the sacrament of reconciliation or confession. But to forgive our neighbor as ourselves is central. And I pray that on this wonderful day of Pentecost, where the Spirit of God reminds us of the gifts that he has given us, that we will use the great gift of forgiveness to seek peace in our own lives and peace in a world gone mad. Praise God and happy Pentecost in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into heaven. On the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we listen to the Spirit crying within us, we present our petitions to God. For all entrusted with the Word of God, for preachers, presbyters, pastors, and parents, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For all who have lost loved ones in the cause of freedom, that they may be comforted by memories of noble service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the newly baptized and confirmed, and for all members of this assembly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For, for Toby Quinley and Trinette Robinshaw, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For the repose of the soul of Rachel Tiara Ceniceros, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For the repose of the soul of Scott Seeley, Mike Seeley, and Dee Seeley, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For the repose of the soul of my parents, David and Hilda Preto, we pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. Father Creator, you sent your Spirit with gifts for each of us. In that same Spirit, we ask you to hear the prayers we offer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, also work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice, and graciously lead us to all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift, we lift them up, up to, the, up to Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, yes. it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the powers of heaven and the hosts of angels sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, John Charles, our Bishop, Michael, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her faithful spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who plead you throughout the many ages, we may merit to be co heirs to life eternal and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us pray as the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your loving Church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who bestows heavenly gifts upon, the, upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.